We're going to create an ebook using the portable document format, also known as the PDF file format. Uh, it's developed by Adobe Systems back in 1993. It's a great way of producing ebooks, reports, and newsletters. However, Adobe Acrobat's rather expensive. Fortunately, there are other softwares you can download for free for creating PDF files. One of them is OpenOffice. You can download OpenOffice by going to openoffice.org. Now, after the video, why don't you stop over to my website at e instantebookpublishing.com for more tips, tricks, and software on creating your own ebooks. So, let's take a look at how to create a PDF ebook using OpenOffice. Okay, let's create our ebook. I already have my ebook laid out in Notepad. Uh, you can use any text editor to lay out your ebook. Uh, when I inserted the text, I used a uh, line wrap or word wrap, excuse me. Uh, the only hard breaks I have are at, at the end of the chapter. So uh, when I copy and paste this into my, my uh, text document, it's going to retain the formatting I want. Um, I also put chapter headings up here because I'm going to uh, turn these into clickable links to the different chapters in my book. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy. Go over to Open Office, open up a new text document. I'm going to paste this in here and uh, go back to the top. I want to insert a graphic at the, or an image at the very top. Kind of dress it up. Put a little space there. I'm going to go insert picture from file. I already have my image all created here. And I inserted it there and it aligned it center just the way I wanted. Now what I have to do is I have to go to each chapter and I have to create a heading at each chapter, a reference point for my clickable links. So I'll go down to my first chapter. I go to Format, Styles and Formatting. Open this up and then I scroll down to my headings. What I want to do is I want to put my cursor right at the end of the chapter and I'm going to double click on uh, heading one for chapter one. I'm going to scroll down to my next chapter, chapter two, insert heading two, and so on through the document. We're going down to chapter three. Great heading three. Chapter four. Chapter 5, and last but not least, Chapter 6. Now I'm done with this, so I'm going to close this out, scroll back to the, the top. Now what I want to do is I want to create uh, links from all these different chapters to the appropriate chapter in the book. So I'm going to highlight this, go back to Hyperlink. I'm going to be linking within the document, so I click that little box there. Click that to open up my list of headings. Double click on the heading. Click on Apply to uh, activate that into a hyperlink. Go to my next chapter. Highlight that. Link that to Chapter 2. Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, and Chapter 6. I'm double clicking on these settings by the way. Hit apply and I'm done here so I'll close this out. Next thing I do want to do is I want to go to the very bottom of the document. I have a uh, some text here I want to turn into a clickable link to my website. And so I highlight it. Go up back to the hyperlinks. This is going to link to a web page on the internet so I click internet. 
and uh, next thing I want to do is I want to type in my URL. Instant ebook publishing.com and I'm going to click apply to make that a link and that's already turned into a link so I'm going to close this out. Next thing I want to do is I want to take this text and change it a little bit. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to make it an 18. That looks just about right. I'm going to align it center. And that looks pretty good right there. All you want to go over your ebook, make sure there are no mistakes in it before you convert it to a PDF file. But I'm trying to keep this uh, reasonable length, so uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go back to the to the title. I want to change that, and make it look more like a title. I'm going to cre uh, increase the font size. Let's try a size 24. That looks pretty good. I want to align that center. Um, I even want to make that bold. Make it. Uh, a little more noticeable. Style bold. And I'm going to change the color. It's black right now. What I want to do is I want to make that another color. Uh, let's see here. Go up here. Uh, we're going to make this a red. Okay. That looks uh, good to me right now. Now the next thing we need to do. Now first of all these these links will not work in the text format but they'll work really great when we export them to uh, our PDF uh, format. So I'm going to go to File, come down to Export as PDF, click on that. It's going to give me some options. First of all, the range. I want to create uh, a book including all the pages. Uh, this has to do with the, uh, the compression of the image. Plus there's uh, a couple other settings here that I'm going to leave the way they are. Um, we're going to go over to Security. I do not want to password protect this, so I'm not going to click this. But I do want to restrict the, the permissions uh, for reasons you'll see in a minute. I have to set a password here, so I'm going to set my password. And then I'm going to repeat it. Click OK, so my password is set. This gives me some options here for printing. I want it, uh, I want the permitting, uh, the printing permitted, but I want it a high resolution, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I, would, I don't want people to be able to change my documents, so I'm going to leave this at changes not permitted. And I'm also going to enable copying of text and uh, enable it uh, for access for accessibility tools. Now I'm going to export it. Um, I'm going to export this to my desktop. And I have to put the uh, title in here. Ebook Publishing Secrets. I'm going to save that to my desktop. We're going to close all this other stuff out here and take a look at the desktop. Now there's my new ebook that I just created. I'm going to open this up. As you see, it opened up in uh, Adobe Reader. Um, you'll see the image there, the title, and my index. Uh, let's, let's go on down. We're going to test one of these links uh, by clicking down to, to Chapter 6. You can just see Steps to Publishing Success, which is Chapter 6. And I'll scroll down the bottom to test out my, my link to my website. There it is right there. We're going to click on that. Allow it to open a new text browser or a web browser. And there you go. There's my uh, my website. Well, I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. And uh, so good luck. Create your first ebook, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.